Sunday in Tehran, Iranian riot police rush towards Sharif University, where students are protesting against the government. One demonstrator, already arrested, is sandwiched on a motorbike between two officers, one of whom shoots at the camera with what appears to be a paintball gun. In another video from near the university, the screams of fleeing demonstrators mingle with the sounds of shots fired. Security forces blocking off the campus and surrounding students as they try to escape a parking garage. The same day at the University of Isfahan in central Iran, another demonstration. Iranian students breaking through an entrance gate and fleeing from tear gas. The Speaker of Parliament on Sunday urged police to deal harshly with protesters, warning that the movement now aims to overthrow Iran's theocratic regime and that it's affecting the country's international status. Our enemy was ready to lift many of its sanctions, but these protests have encouraged it to increase pressure on the Iranian people. The U.S. has indeed levied sanctions on Iranian government agency leaders and the country's notorious morality police. The protests began last month after morality police arrested and allegedly beat 22-year-old Masa Amini for wearing her headscarf improperly. Amini died on September 17th while still in their custody. In the ensuing crackdown, NGO Iran Human Rights says more than 90 people have been killed, with more than 1,500 arrested.